Hi everyone, this is Allie and I am currently sporting Bella Swan's wedding makeup. I want to show you guys how I got this look, so stay tuned. I certainly hope that you enjoy this tutorial. It was very simple and I know that if I can do it, so can you. I am no makeup expert, but I definitely like to learn as I go. So that's essentially what I did. I used everything that I had in my makeup kit, which is not much and I was still able to achieve this look um, without using anything out of the ordinary. So take a look at the video. I will post all of the different products that I used below um, because I didn't actually stop and explain exactly what I was using. So definitely read the list of things that I, um, I used personally, but just know that you can always substitute it with something that perhaps you have that is similar to the product that I'm using. As a reminder, um, for everybody out there, this is something that worked for me. I'm not saying that everyone's going to have the same exact results, but definitely I'm hoping that if you follow the steps, you should be able to get something pretty similar to this look, which is very sophisticated, very flawless, um, nothing over the top, uh, but certainly a very, very beautiful um, wedding look or even everyday look is completely up to you. So enjoy, and don't forget to comment and subscribe. Bye. So here's the look I'm basically trying to achieve, and I'm gonna start out with Paula's Choice Cellular Defense Daily Moisturizer. I'm just gonna dab a little bit of that all over my face. Make sure you spread it really well. You can use any moisturizer of your choice. I just happen to like this one. Then after that, I am going to grab my Paula's Choice Best Face Forward Foundation. Again, you can use whatever foundation you have. I'm gonna put that on my hand so it warms up a little bit, and then I'm gonna grab my Sigma F80 brush and I am going to use that to apply my foundation all over my face including um, my neck make sure that you always cover your neck as well that way it doesn't look like you're wearing this mask even if your foundation matches 100% so as I'm doing that I will finish it up grab my concealer and then I am going to put that right under my eyes. And I actually do this in the form of a triangle just to make sure that it doesn't look like I'm, you know, the opposite of the raccoon eyes where it's just white under your eyes. So when I spread that out, even on my eyelids, I'm not going to be using uh, a shadow primer or anything. I'm just basically going to use everything I have without going into like fancy products. So. To me that's fancy at any rate so I grab my Paula's Choice powder and I'm just gonna open that up that's just so I can set my foundation I grab my powder brush I just happen to be using a Chanel brush that was given to me as a gift and I figured I might as well use it but I also have eco tools which I just pulled right there and I'm gonna use that to put on some bronzer and this is from the line pure minerals um, I'm only going to put on a little bit. I don't know if you guys noticed from the picture. It was kind of fast, but Bella doesn't wear a whole lot of blush. It's not quite um, as obvious. So I'm just going to do enough just so I don't look like a ghost. Um, and hopefully you can see it through the camera. So here is some highlighter. It's actually a Neutrogena eyeshadow palette that's shimmery. I'm just grabbing that and putting it on my nose and on my cheeks. So, um, oh, and my chin, so that I have a little bit of highlight. Then I'm gonna grab my Baybelline um, Definer Brow, which is awesome. That's why I gave it the thumbs up. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on. And it was kind of difficult to do this on camera. I was not looking at a mirror, so I was basically going backwards. So sorry if it looks kind of strange at times. Um, but here I am, just trying to define my brows, just fill them in. And it does come with a little brush at the end, which you can use to kind of set your brows or whatever but I also like to use my fingers a lot and that includes um, eyeshadow so I am over here done with that I'm gonna grab my Neutrogena highlighter again and just put that all over my lid and I'm just gonna make sure I get it all the way up to the top uh, of the brow bone so just make sure you put a decent amount because Bella's look is just really flawless and angelic if you will um, and I'm using this super old benefit palette. I mean, I don't think it's super old, but I've had it for a while Anyway, I'm grabbing the brown color, which is really really creamy um, Or it's just easy to spread basically so I'm gonna use that I'm gonna put that all over the bottom half of my lid just going into my crease to kind of give it sort of a, 
I don't know, the smoked look, if you will. Um, and again, you can see me using my fingers trying to blend everything. I don't have a blending brush, so my fingers are my tool. And that's why I like to show you guys this because it just, it gives you um, the idea that you can always use what you have. You don't have to go out and buy everything brand new. I mean, it would be nice, but if you don't have it, just use your fingers. Anyway, um, yeah, there I am again using my fingers. So make sure that you blend it really well. You don't want to have these obvious um, creases or or where you, you know the color stops. Just blend it nicely. Here I am grabbing um, a little bit of the highlighter again with my finger and just putting it on my brow bone again just to make sure that there's no harsh lines. Putting it on the corner of my eye so it looks nice and highlighted. And at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and grab more color. And this is actually another Benefit um, palette that I have. This is a smoking eye palette, I think. And it just has a really nice charcoal gray in there. I'm sorry, not the charcoal gray, the silvery gray. And I'm just putting that in the middle of my lids um, just to kind of give it like a different effect right in the middle, a little bit shinier, I guess you could say, um, because Bella's makeup does have quite a bit of sheen in it. Um, with browns and gray and here's my Maybelline um, eyeliner which I've used forever that's why you can even read it and then I'm just spreading that on the top by my eyelashes um, and it's not very obvious I don't know if you guys can see that but it does make a difference uh, trust me but I am putting that on I'm outlining my eye all around um, even on the bottom but here's the thing don't press so hard so that there's a harsh line you can do it really really gently so it's almost like you're just leaving a trace of it that way it's not like boom here are my eyes with eyeliner it's just really subtle um this is a super old mystique eyeshadow that i have and it's a little bit different from the benefit in that it's not as pigmented it is brown but it's it's just I don't know how to explain it. It's just not as, um, I don't know, as dense, I guess you could say. So I'm just doing that on the bottom just to go over the eyeliner a little bit so it gives it more definition. And at this point, I'm going to grab my super duper cool eyelash curler, which I have no clue what brand it is. It's just some generic one that I bought a long time ago. Um, curl my eyelashes, and I am going to be using Clinique's. Um, high impact mascara and the tube is ultra tiny because this was a sample that was given to me and I'm not done with it so I will use it until it's dry um, I think it's a great mascara and that's why I'm using it for this purpose it just really gives you a good definition and good volume and it makes your eyelash feel really dark I'm not using false eyelashes excuse me and that's why I am um, really getting in there just to make it as dark as possible make sure you also do your bottom lashes as well because your eyes are the focus of this look and even though we're not using a thousand different products we are using enough to give it that definition to give it that flawless angelic look um, for pretty cheap I mean all the stuff I'm using is, is fairly affordable or free like the sample so last but not least I wanted to use this Chanel um, dark or uh, black crayon to go over my liner again just because I wanted it to be a little bit darker and the brown just wasn't doing it for me so you can always just do this and not do the brown um, but I felt like doing both just kind of gave it a little bit of dimension so I went ahead and went over it once again very gently on the bottom I'm not doing my waterline I'm just going right where my eyelashes are just really really softly um, so there's no harsh lines and it worked out really well again using my fingers make sure that there's no you know different particles under my eyes and I think it turned out pretty nicely now I'm gonna do my lips I'm gonna do my elf glitter gloss my sister actually gave this to me she said hey check this out it works really good this is my first time using it I had no idea that it was gonna be so pink um, I guess I should have known it looks pink on the bottle but anyway it's lighter than I thought so it worked fine um, what I ended up doing is just covering my lips um, and I, I could have left it this way but I was really trying to achieve um, Bella's look so I grabbed this wet and wild palette that I have which is for your eyes obviously but I'm gonna be using that burnt gold color and I'm actually gonna grab that with my my finger and just kind of dab it on my lips and as you can see right away it changes the color of the lip gloss to that orangey, very subtle 
um, yet shiny um, color and I, I really think that turned out great I totally winged it and it's much better than I thought so enjoy I hope you liked it let me know leave me some comments thumbs up guys have a good one